And good morning people, welcome back to Alandra. Last time we made it to a giant guardian, Nirud, or at least where he is. Uh, so we need to go and find him and talk to him I guess. So let's go shall we? First thing I need to do is actually go and grab an item. which is up this way uh, yeah, there it is need a bean and up here is a gilded falcon and I believe the one down the chest down here is a Strength tonic, I believe. Yes. I could use it, but I am not going to at the moment. We might need it later. So, let's go in. In the mood slayer. Couple of chests up there. Unfortunately, I cannot get to them at the moment. So, time to go left. If you were... Uh, things. Uh, pedestals, you can move these. There's only one really that you need to move, which is one over here. And, oh, hello. I don't know how you saw me through the door, uh, through the wall, but um, fair enough. Up here is a door. If we hold on to this, as long as we're on here, it will open, but it will come off shut as soon as we get there. So what I need to do is put this barrel on the edge here, jump onto it, jump up here. And another Gilded Falcon. So up to 41. So I can get the next item. I'll be doing that now once I've finished here, I think. Uh, not much else we can do here at the moment, so out we go. It's the King Mimin. Lock the entrance. Um, that's not a good um, start. And they're busting out their troops. I'm not over there. Um, okay. That one's quite a ways away, actually. And the final one... There. And all the doors are shut and... Ow! You're protecting him. And I'm trying to see him. Uh, it's a bad, bad start. Anyway, I need to go up here because I need to break up, uh, open, break into the uh, statue again. So I need to destroy these. These take 15 hits. And it's broken. That's one of the three. Next one, I'm going to need to exit here, and what would be the best way? I think up through here, actually. And a bit of walking. Because I need to 
head this way. Uh, no, that doesn't help me at all. I need to go up. Oh, didn't see you there. Okay. I need to get through that tree. Let's put this, uh, the Olga's ring on. The Olga's ring only gives its uh, increased attack power when you're wearing it, I've found out, so... Might as well make use of it. For the moment, at least. It does not change the effect on these... Um, these, though, I don't think. No, it doesn't. However, I am just going to make use of that as it does two hits while it lasts, so... Now I need to head back and uh, destroy the last one. Okay. Probably, yeah, best way would be down here. Wonder if Mia's still there. She is. But then again, I haven't really done too much in way of story. And... Back to New Roots there. Lots of sort of moving around. At least in this part. Okay. And Ice Wand will do it for this one. And you're out. And all the doors reopen. Yep, I'm going to be needing that. I could go in there, but it doesn't really help me because there's no way I can move around in there at the moment. So, what I need to do is go into the, another door. Luckily, on, it, on the other foot is another door. How about we run away like girls? Um, well, if you want. Bye. First things first, I want to go this way. For Nerb. Which I think I will use... To give myself a bit more health. There should be a save point soon, so... I sh where I'll be able to heal up, so I shouldn't need... To, uh... Pick up the, uh... And use any more health potions. Are they? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, should I have had this one ready? That works. And they're up. And another one of these. This one fires at you though, so uh, 
Yeah. And it's why I picked uh, put on Narva's charm because it completely nullifies the, da uh, the damage from this. And that's out. And continue on. Ah, yes. First, I need to pick up this uh, barrel and snake my way through here. Put it up there. Snake my way back. And that's that done. Pretty simple puzzle. Just make sure and make use of everything that you've got in the room. Oh, that's nice. Next thing I'd want to do is have that equipped because this. Now, this room has a trick to it. You cannot win in here. If you kill the things here, just more, uh, more just appear. What you have to do is actually uh, exit. Just go through the door. Simple as that. I'll just use the magic just for the heck of it. And you might think, why? Well, walk back in. And he switches the wrong switch. And they all run. And I can follow them. I don't think you can hit this one, no. No, it's only hittable by that person. The next room. If we press this button, a uh, barrel drops. What you need to do is drop it onto there. Come on. Uh, that wasn't meant to happen. Oops. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? I'm failing pretty miserably. That's better. Pity I can't get those, but uh, that's alright. Now, another button pa uh, thing. Uh, button puzzle. It's pretty simple. That one there. That one there. Uh, do, 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 do. This one, this back one here. This one here. And I should be able to put this one on this one. And just step on that and it's done. Jump over. And an up. I think I'll use, uh, use one of those to get it out. Might as well. And a key. Which I'll be using in a moment. Don't need to do anything in that room now. And this is a pre uh, just a simple... Uh, Backtracking expedition. Because of this gate, which you open with the key. And you're outside. Might be obvious, but you can't go past them boulders. And, um,. I can't get to that. 30 Gilder. And another 30 Gilder. Can I get back up here? Yes, I can. Excellent. 
So, can't go through there, so only one way you can go. Activate the trap at once. It isn't much of a trap, really. But, first thing I want to do is heal and get my magic back. Save progress, yep, and the background's gone for some reason. Wow, I haven't sold, uh, sold? Saved things for uh, quite a bit, actually. Oh well. Anyways, first thing I want to do is move that across. Not much. And also move this across. This is why I, one of the reasons why I got the Narva's charm. I can literally walk through this, otherwise you just have to jump over it. First I want to come this way, and come up here. This uh, switch opens a gate on the other side, otherwise you can't make it to uh, the uh, head that's creating these fireballs. Just to show you I can do uh, do the jumping if, it's, if needed. Not very well, but I can do it. And you just blow up the uh, head, and then the fireball stops spawning. And that area is safe for you to go in and out of now. For the next trick, um, yeah, I need to go up here. The switch must be activated to allow passage. Press each lever once, then twice in alternating order, order to proceed. What switch is this? Well, what we uh, this can stump people. There's a lot of uh, things here. However, the one in the middle is movable, and then you just walk through, and you reach here. and can make your way through. The engine room is directly below this area. The switches must be activated correctly to proceed. Press the levers in this order to activate the switches. Left, right, left, left, right, right. But first I need to move these, otherwise these blocks don't lift. And you have to wait A for a couple of seconds. But now I can go down. Now, there's the switches. If I press this, uh, this button on the right, that's opened up. But it is impossible for you to get round and in. Same with this one, just on the opposite side. So how does one get to these uh, switches? You don't actually. The, uh, the levers are a complete red herring. What you have to do is press the buttons in the order. So left, right, left, left, Right, right, and it turns on automatically. It's a very sneaky uh, little way of just get, uh, getting around you a bit. But now we can go to where 
those platforms were. Because they're now moving. And we can go through this door. Yay! That's how you get past that one. And then you just need to get over to here. Uh, oh well. Can, can usually get through there without getting hurt, but it's not much. Okay. Oh, um, it's locked. Can't do anything there then. Oh well. <laughs> So let's continue on across the pathways. These ones here are not moving because you hit the switch once and they do one cycle. As you can see. Using that for a reason because over here is an herb. Not much, but useful. And, hmm, wonder if that's going to activate anytime soon. Oh, he hello. Another reason why I picked on, uh, picked up a. Uh, Nava's charm because it gives me a bit of defense as well. The pink ones here have a different attack if this one would show it. Yeah, it's, it's, it does a spin round. And, and they, they gave us this chest, which is the key for that other room. And Okay, so what's the point of this room? Well, it's inoperable, unfortunately, but the right hand is functional. Oh, hello again. This cannon, a cannon vod should be the end of you. Mm. It won't be, but... Uh, Oh, I need to... And yep, over here. Oh, that's a surprise, you actually got me. Not doing too well at avoiding those. Oh well, that's over with. And I can jump on here and get back up. And now just to get back. Back through this room. Simple enough. And you can open this. Oh, hello again. So we're trapped. Well, might as well continue with what we were doing. Begin with the most delicate finger. This is a hand. We've got to open the hand, basically. And it said that that is to start with the most delicate finger. This over here is where the thumb is, so this must be the smallest finger. So we start here and just continue along the path. So 
sort of like opening a hand. With, if you do it without thinking, you always tend to open it with the smallest finger. At least, at least I think that's the way it happens, but uh, oh well. Large boulders seem to have fallen in the next room from somewhere above. And they've broken down the door. So we can get out. Yay for boulders. So now we need to exit the area. Back through the door. Just make a running leap, I think. And make the take the opportunity to heal up. Won't need to save again. This area isn't exactly hard, it's just a bit tedious, I would say. And a bit delayed, but the hand is open and we can now get past. And we can get to this chest. I still believe you can actually get to here from that, that platform there, but you'd get here and get it eventually. The Earth Book. Level 2 Earth Magic. I do believe uh, the level 1 is a bit more useful, but uh, rains huge meteorites. Okay then. I still actually need to show the fire and the air magic at one point, don't I? Ah. Oh, I'll do it at some point, I guess. Uh, might do it in the next uh, fight, actually. You've seen earth enough and uh, water you've seen. Invader has been sighted. Activate the trap now. This is not much of a trap. They cannot shoot backwards or sideways. They can only shoot forwards. So, yeah. That's the fire magic. It uh, summons some flames that you uh, that fall down around you. Nothing major. And Lightning. So that's what the magic, uh, those magic looks like. Might as well have a show of the earth, earthworks. So lasts a bit longer, and they cut, and they're a bit bigger. But I feel, I still feel the first one is a bit more useful. It's okay uh, that I don't have the magic because I won't be needing it for the majority, uh, the rest of this. So I can get I don't know why I'm hiding either because I can't be hurt by their fireballs. Oh well. Anyways, that's this trap pretty easy to get fast. So, until next time, we'll continue in Nerud's Lair, and we'll see what other traps they have laid for us. So, until then, have a wonderful day, have lots of fun, goodbye!